Happy Monday. We are back on it. Get the crankshaft taken right into where it needs to be. More drills. Drilled a couple more leaves on it, so we'll see where we're at now. We've got 10 grams on one side and 3 grams on the other, so we are getting close. We got last time within 9 grams and 5 grams on each side respectively. Now we're at 672 and 339. So Roger's explaining how as you get close to the end here, take a little off one side, it kind of obviously affects the other one, so just keep going nice and carefully and aim to get it within two grams at the end. We're getting down to the nitty gritty where we're pretty close, so we might need to add a little weight. Money, money. 1.24 grams and 1.34. But the question is, is Roger satisfied with that? Yeah, we keep playing a little. <laughs> oh, you had the uh, clay on there, so we need to add a little. Gotcha. So Roger replicated a weld by throwing some clay on one of the counterweights. Add metal for real. And that should get us, theoretically, right at what we want there. Then a gram of each other, and that's cool. Closer, definitely more balanced side to side. Two, three, five, two, three, four. Cool. Getting real close. One side is under two grams, the other side is just barely over. A lot of back. Pretty damn good, Roger. <laughs> Keep this up, I might have to go full time. Yeah. Okay, let's put Sorry. a flex plate on. 169 and 186, that is freaking good. There's a flex plate. Get the flex plate on there, and then we can check Make sure that is balanced along with the crank now that we know the crank is balanced. I fell on it about 10 or 12 years ago. I'm in my back. I'm in my back. I'm playing volleyball. So now that we've got the whole crankshaft balanced to itself, we put the flex plate on there so this way we can balance it against the whole crankshaft because one piece could throw everything off. So we'll get this thing balanced up against our previous measurements and then we can put the harmonic balancer up front and then do the same thing. And additionally, Roger took a measurement of the front snout here of the cranks. So this way we can check the diameter of it with the opening of the harmonic balancer because a lot of times these aftermarket ones come with 
a little bit too tight of a hole, so this way you have to really press them on there and you can gall the metal and it's just too much work to do, so it's a lot easier. You can just hone it real quick and get her on there. Money. Yeah. So I said we already know the cranks. Good, so all we gotta do is get the rest of it to come back in. Yeah, sure. crazy thing to think about is when you look at the flex plate from the side, this little eighth inch piece of steel, and you're like, how does five, six, seven hundred horsepower get transferred through such a thin piece of metal? But really, it's all laterally transferred. It's not across this, not it's not bending and flexing, it's not transferring power like a dinner dish. You're actually looking at the whole width of this piece of metal because it's all spinning this way. So all the strength is that way. It's not really pushing that way. It's just unearthed the torque converter. A and A transmission, hooking it up. It's a cute little guy. Well, usually they're like that thick, so I wonder why it's so shallow. They pass the savings on to us. The eyeball police is here, you better take it easy. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One five three one oh seven. Better than before. That's pretty damn nice, Roger. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good that game. is a balanced rotating assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, you have now seen a balanced rotating assembly live. And from here we'll pop off the bob weights and then pull everything apart and get the crank a final cleaning and then and we get a polish. A polish on the all the journals, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Pushing out good again and then we're putting it to bed. Yeah. Then she goes home right here. This beautiful piece. Chevy orange hugger. Everyone's saying hugger orange. Like, no, yeah, that's, okay. Uh, something, something pink. Yeah, Roger thinks it's pink. I don't know what you guys see in here. Yeah, he thinks it's salmon orange. That's that's why you had the eye surgery. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, get your Mopar get eyeballs. What the hell is wrong with my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I better get these bad boys fixed. Yeah, yeah. We're we're clearly seeing hemi orange, but Roger's seeing salmon pink. So it's it's time for a tune up. Yeah, had that. 56 wagon in here too long it was this, yeah. that color so yeah. yeah yeah that thing was you know, flashbacks yeah i saw <laughs> yeah, yeah no more of that well that wraps up this episode thank you guys for watching what on earth is going on here did you come to grandpa roger's shop with your own space heater all right what else are we doing she yeah, doesn't even know whatever he says yeah camshaft <laughs> bearings we'll get the crank in there Big install. Uh oh. Well, if you're not in charge, I don't know who is then. This thing's gonna be rolling hard down the street. It's actually just called girl power. 
What's that? It's actually just called girl power. What was that? You mean uh, I have girl power? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in a minute.